Hello all, welcome to part 44 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use dry run in Kukumbar projects. So let's get started. Dry run is used in Kukumbar as part of the runner class. Okay, in the runner class, we have to specify this dry run under the Cucumber options. Okay, as one attribute of the Cucumber options, we have to mention dry run in the Cucumber projects in the runner class. So let me practically demonstrate this uh, runner class, I mean uh, dry run in runner class for you. So what exactly this dry run will do? Okay, I'll show you practically, then you will understand all these things. Okay, when dry run is false, what's happening? When dry run is not specified, what's happening? When dry run is set to true, what's happening? I'm going to show you guys, okay? But, uh, let me quickly switch to this Eclipse ID, guys, where you can see this project. Mm. So I'll open this runner class. I'll open this runner class. So here, uh, here this is the runner class, guys. Uh, and in this feature files, all the steps got implemented, okay? In the step definition methods. You see, if I open this login dot feature, you see nothing is getting highlighted. I'll update the project also using Maven, Maven update project. So you can, it will be confirmed for us, like after updating the Maven project, it will be confirmed. If any particular step is not implemented, it will be highlighted in yellow color. If you're getting this cucumber icon beside every step, instead of the yellow color uh, background behind the steps, that means every step is implemented. For each and every step, there is a uh, method implemented in this step definition classes, okay? So go to the restart.feature and uh, confirm if there are any steps which are not implemented. Yes, they are all implemented. No highlights in yellow color or any other background color. You see, all these steps are implemented. You are getting a proper cucumber icon and without any highlights. That means all the steps in all these feature files got implemented already. In that case, there is no problem, guys. In that case, there is no problem. Okay, if I run this, by default, what's happening, we'll see. It will run all the uh, scenarios in this feature files containing all the steps and all the steps will be invoking this particular step definition methods and you'll get the results like this. Okay, you'll get the results like this, guys. Okay, you see, each and every step got executed. You see, because of which we are getting the print statement. This double grade than simple I provided in the print statement, right? This step has invoked this particular step definition method having this print statement and print statement got printed, okay? Just for segregating the normal uh, steps, uh, feature, uh, feature file steps from the step definition method uh, print statements have added uh, double greater than symbol in the okay in the methods as you already know from the previous sessions okay so you see every every step in the feature file has some method invoked and uh, in that method we have the print statement for now and they got executed okay they got executed and printed in the output okay for all the scenarios what if there is a particular uh, let's say i'll go to such dot feature and here i'll write down one extra step here, which is not implemented yet. In this project, I have not implemented this step, okay? In this step definition uh, Java files, we don't have this particular step implemented, guys. I'm freshly writing this step, but you see here, search for a valid product. User enters valid product in search field. User clicks on search button. Valid product should get displayed in the search results, but invalid product, invalid product should not be displayed in the search results. You see, till now we have not used the but keyword, okay, in Gherkin, uh, apart from, okay, uh, this uh, then and all the stuff, we have but keyword also given when then and but, okay, but means reverse, okay. This should not happen, okay, to construct that kind of statements, okay, opposite statements, we generally use but keyword. So, but invalid product should not be displayed in the search results, okay. Valid product should be displayed, but invalid product should not be displayed, okay. For such kind of reasons, we'll use but. But here, if I click on save all, immediately you see this particular step is getting highlighted. That means this step is not implemented. Okay, the step that is provided in this particular scenario of the such dot feature file is not having any implemented method in this step definition classes. So that's why it's highlighting in yellow. And we have to implement that if you have to get rid of this. Okay, what if the step is still not implemented? And if I'm running this, okay, if the, that particular step in the such dot feature is not implemented, I'm running this. What problem will face? We'll see. You see, you will not face any problems, guys. Okay, all the steps will be, all the scenarios in all the feature files will be running irrespective of that particular step. You will see that only that particular step which is not implemented will be hi uh, highlighted in the output. You see, you see, first scenario, no problem because uh, the step is not Im uh, implemented in the first scenario of the search dot feature file. Okay, till then you see all the scenarios got executed. You see, for every uh, step, the implemented methods got executed and print statement got printed. You see, everything is getting uh, got executed, guys, and Finally, when we read the search functionality, you see first in the first scenario of the search, the first scenario of the search dot feature file, 
here there is a step which is not implemented since this particular step is not implemented it's coming in some other color okay it's not coming in green color okay pretty uh, pretty plugin pretty plugin that we have used as part of i explained as part of one of the previous sessions right that is coloring this one in some other color that is orange color kind of stuff okay so and we are not getting any error guys okay but we are not getting any error here in the output console okay but this is highlighting and remaining all steps got executed guys okay though this step is not executed though this step is not implemented in the step definition files still the remaining steps got executed that's a that's a thing okay so what's happening in the background you see in, in the jnit it got failed because that particular step is not implemented but in the eclipse output console there's no problem okay remaining all steps got executed you see all the print statements for each and every corresponding step got printed here here by default whether you provide or not dry run is set to false okay here there are different attributes guys okay here i can add an attribute like this okay uh, i'll say dry run dry run is equal to false whether you provide dry run is equal to false or whether, whether you don't provide this dry run is equal to false uh, dry run attribute at all both uh, you will get the same results guys okay when the dry run is false okay it, even though there is a particular step in this one of these feature files is not implemented as part of the step definitions still all the other steps will be executed when the dry run is false whether you provide this or not all the steps in all the feature files which have the implementation will be executed guys okay and the one which is not implemented will be highlighted in yellow color okay even this case also dry run is called false also same thing will happen right click run as jnit as you'll get the same result guys okay you'll get the same result you'll see all the steps in all the uh feature files okay all the scenarios all the steps in all, all the scenarios of the feature files will get executed you see every step got executed the corresponding print statement got printed okay and but uh, this one okay this particular first scenario in the search dot feature file the such dot feature file first scenario this particular step is not implemented so it's coming in some orange color rather than green color the same result we got when we have not provided dry run is equal to false right but what if i provide whether you don't provide the dry run or whether you provide dry run is called false you'll get the same result guys other steps will get executed but if i provide dry run is called to true when a particular step in one of the uh, scenarios of the feature file is not implemented as part of the step definition methods in that case what will happen is none of the other steps in any of the feature files will not be executed here if you say dry run is called true means what cucumber is doing is it is trying to check if any particular steps in this feature file are not implemented or not it's not going to run it's it's not a real run okay if dry run is called true means it's not a real run it is a dummy run where we are with the help of cucumber we are checking if any particular step is not implemented okay that's what is dry run guys okay if a particular you see such functionality step is not implemented so and dry run is set to true means other steps will not be executed they will be checked whether implementation is there or not okay you will not see the same eclipse output you see for every step you will not see any output guys okay because dry this is a dry run is called true we are just run, uh, running to see if a particular step is implemented or not if a particular step is implemented it will kind of come in green color in the output okay and if it's passing it's it will come in green color if not it will come in orange color okay but uh, this print statements will not be invoked in right run is equal to true you say run this right click run as a jane test none of the steps will be executed guys okay because this is just a dry run it's not a real running of the test you see from the beginning you see only the steps got uh, printed here okay feature file steps got printed but they have not invoked any of the step definition methods inside the step definition classes the purpose of that dry run true is to uh, with the help of cucumber to check whether all the steps in all the feature files got executed or not if there is any, any particular step which is not executed okay this is a color, different color means it's not executed okay this is the purpose of the dry run so what if i remove that particular uh, step which is not implemented and still set the dry run is equal to true okay so i have removed that uh, now all the all the steps in all the feature files got uh, feature files got uh, implemented or step definition methods they have and they have the implementation so none of the steps are like left unimplemented okay so everything is implemented now still we can put dry run is equal to true to see if all the scenario uh, all the steps in all the scenarios of the feature files have the implementation or not here we are not running this feature files we are checking whether all the scenarios all the steps in all the scenarios of the feature have files have the implemented step definition methods or not we are checking that is what is dry run guys okay hope you are able to understand now okay we can still run this and you will not see any executions happening okay will not see any implemented methods being called okay only the steps will be uh, printed in uh, defined color okay you see all the steps got uh, uh, 
are printed in green color means every step is implemented. That's how we use dry run, guys. Okay. So only dry run will be used to check whether all the all the steps in all the scenarios of the feature files have the respective implementation in the step definition methods or not. That's the only purpose. And by default, if you don't provide dry run is equal to, it's nothing but dry run is equal to false. Okay. The steps will be executed. Okay. Fine. So hope guys you understood what exactly is dry run and how to use in Cucumber projects uh, and uh, for what purpose we have to use in Cucumber projects in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.